So this video is on the topic of a Bylock impressioning method. Bylock has traditionally been a pretty difficult lock to impression because of its pretty effective false gates and the fact that its key, which is in a very distinct U shape, I'll find the spell. Its key, which is in a very distinctive U shape, is very difficult to file. Because this bylock has never really been attacked with impressioning attacks, except for one notable one, which is government only, unfortunately, and has typically been decoded with wire tools. This is a method that uses a 3D printer and a thin pick to decode the bylock. So the weakness that we exploit in order to do this is the fact that the bylock keyway the most common one at least, has straight walls. What that means is with a specially modified key blank, which we printed in metal for this, which as compared to the real key, has reduced thickness of the two walls. So, this is not the correct key for this by the way. Um, so what that means is if I place this specially made key in, and I use a pick that is quite thin, preferably at least 15 thousandths or 0.4 millimeters, or even thinner, I can slide the pick in alongside with relative ease and get relatively good feedback within there. So, obviously, the bylock is typically single pin picked by testing each slider with the jiggle test. So we bounce it up and down, and sliders with a little more play are typically considered set, and sliders that are firm are um, either binding or in a false gate. So we take advantage of this test combined with the keyway that we just talked about, and we want to effectively do the same thing as impressioning where we apply tension and we want to create what is effectively a mark but because the mark is not going to happen with a 3d printed blank if i try to jiggle this it's just going to snap so what we do is we want to place in the blank in this case we'll use this or min cut key well, we'll obviously start with an all max cut normally. Well, you can do both, I guess, since we're printing. We apply tension, and then while we're applying tension, we want to slide the pick in, and we will jiggle test each of the pins. Anything that jiggles is fine to stay where it is. And anything that does not jiggle, we want to move up one pin at a time, one slider at a time by one cut, or down by one cut depending on where we start. And effectively, when we want to stop each one when it jiggles, and we want to do no more than one slider at a time to ensure that we're not getting in trouble because of incorrect binding orders. So, by doing this one at a time, we end up with a whole mess of keys. Most of them snap and break because they're 3D printed junk but it is very cheap, it is very time consuming though. But we can't apply tension with a 3D printed key and that's where these come into play. So this is a specially printed blank. And by the way, this method does come regards of DND for discovering that 3D printed keys work excellently in Bylock. But we have the specially printed thin wall blank and we've taken two cutouts out of each side. The left one is deeper than the right one in this case. So we insert the key blank and it'll click into place. And then you'll notice if you look through there that that left slot is now partially empty and that right slot is full. So with a bylock tensioner, this is just a 1.2 millimeter pry bar, we can slip it in there and tension as normal. So while tensioning, we can very easily slip in here and test all the pins on this side. And just as easily slip in on this side and test all the pins on this side. 
Perhaps an 0.3 millimeter pick might even do a better job than this, but for the time being, this, this 15,000th pick works perfectly fine. So, once we get, as we do this more and more, we're going to end up with a smaller and smaller blank, and in fact I've ended up modifying the key a little bit just to save some plastic. But, effectively, at some point you should be able to slide it in, and when you tension, like this, the lock should, roughly speaking, open. This is not quite because, but I can feel enough play in it that I'm confident that it is, well, pretty much open. Um, Bylocks do have a tendency to not quite open if you're not 100% precisely in the false gate in the true gate, which can happen with 3D printed blanks, but um, you can tell by the deepness of the false set typically, and I mean, you should go for an open anyway, and you should just print blanks until until it works, but the one I initially used is broken, so let's test these other three that I printed and see if any of them will open up the lock. This does. This is, as you can probably tell, an extremely like finicky and kind of garbage method of impressioning. And in this case, I just heard one of the sidebars click a bit, but it's not really willing to go. But suffice to say, once you get to a certain point, the lock is able to open. But with each blank, you should typically try two or three repetitions of the print simply because as well as D&D can attest to 3D printed blanks for bylock are often not quite they deform as you enter as you insert them and they deform as you move them sometimes and they don't quite print perfectly sometimes which means that occasionally just because you've printed it and it was fine out of the printer does not mean that it's um, does not mean that it's fine in the end which, you know, is just as expected. Um, in this case, we're probably like a few microns off on these blanks. This, this is the latest batch I broke, the original one that I mentioned. But since this is just a conceptual discussion, it's fine. This, this impression took me months, by the way, like literal months. Um, so, once you get a functional key, you want to, like, you want to test, like, at least three or four, um, of each cut, so at some point the lock will open, because all you're doing is you're, you're setting which ones are at the correct height aside, um, and you're kind of trialing and error trial and erroring other ones to find which one is the appropriate next cut so this takes probably like a hundred or so prints minimum to actually open the lock but you will get there in the end so once you've opened it as i said these deform incredibly easily and are just not really the method of choice i got these i had these better printed myself but I got these from a 3D printing service and uh, PLA is interesting. It tends to deform a bit in shipping. But the reason I got it that done there is because they are for metal printing and once you have the correct bidding, which I had done at home, you are able to print a metal key using those cut heights and unlike PLA, this does not deform. Which means, if we insert it, it is very easily able to open the lock. And indeed, these are, these have a hard time, but that is just how it is. Um, Yeah, I can obviously it's it's pretty clear that it's like roughly correct. In fact, this much play is unusual, even if you've pretty much picked an entire bylock. But uh, 
being a bit stubborn on video, and these blanks are fucked. Um, so yeah, effectively the procedure is to start with one of these, a blank key or an all min cut key, like this steel one I've got, with which is either in steel, which is expensive, or in plastic with the cutouts, and to just jiggle test every single slider. The ones that aren't jiggling, especially ones that are binding, binding ones are the ideal. Um, you want to move that one slider down one cut, print another key, and test and repeat. If if the um, the pin starts jiggling, then you're good to go um, on that pin, and you just move on to the next one. And this repeats over and over again, and you should repeat each configuration at least twice, I would say. Maybe three times. Um, yeah, and at some point the lock will open, and at that point what you have to do is that key will probably only work once. So you want to record the bidding and print it in metal. And once you've printed it in metal, you have a functioning impressioned by lock key. Well, sort of impressioned. So that is a new but highly, I would say, pointless and incredibly difficult defeat of the bylock, a non-picking defeat. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.